A new leaked video from Microsoft's owned streaming platform Mixer shows some woes there that are alarming. How can this affect Microsoft's effort in the gaming plateau? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses in the medicine. I appreciate all of y'all. Straight up, y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, so what was I talking about there in the bumper? Okay, so there was an alarming video. Um, and, and I'm going to follow the video or proceed the video rather with this article from Windows Central. There's an alarming video from the head of Mixer and she's the newly appointed head of Mixer. Her name is, I don't want to butcher her name here. Let me scroll down here. It is Shilpa Yala. All right. And Shilpa um, recently held a town hall to discuss internally uh the the low morale at mixer um people have made claims that it's being run by a skeleton crew there um and, and post the founders leaving and then microsoft's uh well formerly of microsoft mike yabarro leaving and stuff like that they just they just feel abandoned and they're not too bright about the future of the platform that they work for so morale is down uh shilpa took that opportunity to in her own special way <laughs> try to enlighten the uh employees there and she did it in a way that was very questionable so let's just briefly go over that per this article and then i want to show you all the video in question and then we could talk about it at the tail end of that so the article reads report morale amongst microsoft's mixer team is at an all-time low uh and it says, uh, what you need to know, Microsoft, Mixer is Microsoft's live streaming platform to compete with Amazon's Twitch. According to a report by on MSFT on Microsoft, rather, employee morale is at an all-time low. The service is reportedly run by a skeleton team with few employees with only one option. It's unclear if this report is completely accurate, but Mixer definitely has an uphill climb. Uh, and, and the article continues to read today, a report from uh, on MSFT said that the employee morale at Microsoft's live streaming platform Mixer was at an all time low. Employees are concerned about the future of the service and there are layoffs taking place there. There is also a video that shows a newly appointed Mixer head, Shilpa Yala, making a rather harsh sounding pitch to employees while discussing positivity in the workplace culture. Okay, so Again, let's, let's provide the backdrop before I play this video. Um, you have the founders that left abruptly. You had Mike Yabarro that was appointed, that was appointed head there. He leaves abruptly. Um, it's being run by a skeleton crew as being reported by a lot of employees and there's layoffs happening there. I want y'all to listen to this video and then we're gonna talk about it again at the tail end. So uh, here we go. Let's do it. Let, let's try it this way because I don't think that I have. Try this one. Or actually, ever since I joined this organization, I heard a lot of, across all levels, across all of the organization. I think every one of us have choices in our lives. We have two choices. Like him, he had choices. He could cry, sit down, stop, or he could focus. He chose to focus and that's the result. That's the passion and perseverance and tenacity he's demonstrated. We don't have that kind of problems here. We don't. We have both the hands mostly. Um, we have an organization like Microsoft who's investing in our business. We have all, has so much talent collectively from production, creativity, technical, product, program, like name it. We have a awesome talent together here. And we have a product that is so awesome, so exciting, so much meaning, so much impact, so much excitement, so much fun. Yet here we are trying to talk about, oh, uh, my world is dooming, my team is dooming, blah, 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 blah. And so my, my message to all of you is choices. Either you say, 
I, I actually think it's like two parts of the people in the world, right? There's one segment of the people who have thousand reasons why they could succeed. One reason why they think they could not succeed. They leave thousand reasons why they would not succeed. They'll give up. They'll complain, nag and give up. And there is this section of the people who basically find one reason. They may have thousand reasons like this guy. Thousand reasons why he cannot succeed. But one reason why he would succeed, that's the focus and tenacity. He chose that. I want to be here, not there. And my, I'll ask all of you to decide where you want to be. Either you want to complain and nag or whatever and feel negative about everything or have the that we are here in Microsoft as part of Mixer with so much of opportunity, bright talent here, trust each other, treat each other with respect, show positive energy, show ton of optimism and move forward. Please make a choice. And I ask all of you to really, really, really rethink about like how we are framing our mind. Because like I said last time, optimism, positivity is what gets us anywhere. I cannot tolerate negativity and negative swirls and etc, etc. That does not mean I don't understand the challenges. I have a lot of empathy, but I'm not here to sympathize with anybody. Wow. <laughs> so um, here's where I'm going to take the MM2K hat off just for a brief second. And I want to talk solely uh, about management solutions. And trust me, I can kind of I can kind of relate to this because as in my 22 plus year tenure at a Fortune 500 company, I've come across, I've had to coach managers like that. I've had some people that were like that. And I wanna say it's a cultural thing. Some cultures, that is the crack the whip approach that they deal with everything. And it, it's sympathy or empathy is considered weakness. Um, and what you have to kind of do is if you, you, you gotta take their culture, take the best of their cultural experience and then meld it together with how things are done where they're, where they currently are. And that can be a challenge. And I don't know if Shilpa has had that type of mentoring because Mixer is a critical point to what Microsoft is trying to do in gaming. My, not just Xbox, but Microsoft sees its biggest threat in the gaming space Google and Amazon so much so that they made Phil a VP directly under Satya and they're doing all these efforts to you know have a footprint in the, in the gaming culture because by 2025 the number that everybody's eyeballing is 300 billion by 2025 gaming is expected to be a 300 billion dollar industry so having Xbox as a staunch leader within the gaming community. And then along with that, having a streaming platform be a staunch leader within the gaming community are key for Microsoft. And Phil sometimes may be a little bit too soft, but then you also don't wanna to go to the other extreme of the pendulum and be too hard. Um, so back to my relative experience, this was totally the wrong approach to deal with to deal with that um here's something that i said on twitter that i think is more would be a more successful tone in this regards to microsoft uh, let's see if i can pull it up so on twitter i said the video from the head of mixer is sad from experience if you address a team morale in the town town hall as nagging they leave you address instigators one-on-one -on -one. So as she felt like there may be instigators, you pull them to the side and you talk to them and you be very, you be very precise and calculated in those conversations. Um, in town halls, you promote promise, acknowledge rough patches and underline hope. Mixers in a bad way. I say that again because you're underperforming. Every, your your mixers, the, I'm sorry. As, as well as the, the platform works, it's the laughing stock of the of the streaming community. It just is. They're getting hammered because they're constantly not nowhere near the benchmarks of their competitors. Then you hear that they give all this money to to Ninja, and you got the number one and number two streamers, arguably, right? And 
they're not moving the needle. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got layoffs, people abandon ship. That was the wrong way to move forward if you want to retain talent and maintain more talent. So again, I just think it's just from my own personal experience. I just question if Shilpa's ever had that critical mentoring where we say, look, you're very strong and very direct and and, and we wanna, you know, we, we wanna emphasize on those capabilities. But when it comes to the communication and and, and, and problem solving, here's where you gotta smooth it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that that mentoring, mentoring has occurred because it seemed like she was just agitated. She's mad, maybe she's agitated because the placing mixer is at, and she took it out in a town hall with a camera rolling. I mean, that that's, to me, that's kind of insane. So it just proves to, proves to me that at least in the gaming front, not only at Xbox, and, I, and, and the question is still up in the air. I don't know if Mixer is a sublet of Xbox now because it arguably was one, being that um, Mike Yabar was running it, and I don't know if they changed that, if they just put it back under the Microsoft umbrella. I have no idea what's going on. But what it proves to me is that, at least on the management side, when it comes to this gaming stuff, they're still lost in the sauce and they gotta get better at it. On the management side for Xbox, I, I get the specs were put out there, but we still got a long ways to go. And a hole was a big hole was kind of dug because of the management style of Phil Spencer. And now we we see here over at Mixer, we're digging another hole where they're going through some rough patches. They're trying to integrate some things. They're trying to keep the morale there so the people can stay there and they're going about it all the wrong way. So with that being said, hopefully they get it together. Hopefully they square all this stuff away because again, this is critical. You don't fight a full prong war against Amazon and Google unless you have your gaming platform in a stable and a competitive place. And then also your streaming because YouTube, YouTube is a prominent streaming platform and so is Twitch. Mixer gotta get up there. As far as gaming is concerned, they're not solidified in gaming yet. But then now you got to also deal with PlayStation, which is very solidified. So again, Microsoft, look at your management, talk to them, make adjustments where need be, get your head in the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, you all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.